Sorry guys, gotta do a part two. There's only so much my camera could take. It, re it reached its fucking limit. Um, you know, sorry there's a part two. Um, I usually like to make my videos a nice, convenient, you know, one parter. Doesn't matter how uh, long it's from, but I gotta finish this up because the review is going kind of long. I usually don't like to go over 30 minutes because it's just excessive, but I'm sorry I had a lot to say in this video. So apologies for anybody getting ref, uh, what did I have a lisp there for a minute? Restless, you know, during the vid. Um, but I had a lot on my mind in regards to this and I kept getting distracted ah, by people in the parking lot. Anyway, um, the thing is, you know, as I said, Roman Reigns is being like fucking copy and pasted into the stone cold role. And we're supposed to accept this. You have the network there. Everybody knows that Roman Reigns is playing the Stone Cold role. Even fucking 10-year-olds are now seeing this. Because every special you've had on the network, you've mentioned the Stone Cold McMahon storyline. And you've already said pretty much that you peaked at this point. So they figure if it worked for Stone Cold, why not take Roman Reigns, a guy who they are desperately... They will try to get this guy over by any means possible. So what would be a better way to do this than fucking copy and paste Roman Reigns into the most successful storyline of all time, but barely even try to make it as good or even half as good or even a quarter as good or even a smidge as good. Smidget or whatever the fucking word is. Anyway... You know, you're not going to do this by putting him into a half-assed recreation of an old storyline. And even so, it looks cheap. You can't do this. I'm sorry, you just can't take a guy and give him the same exact storyline. If you want to take influences from it. But they are doing the same exact th thing. Screw him out of the title. When he wins it back, try to screw him out of it again. It's, but the only problem is Roman Reigns has doesn't even have the charisma that Stone Cold possessed in his fucking pinky finger. And he doesn't have the wrestling skills and the hot crowd behind him to support him in this storyline. Attendance was a lot higher and a whole bunch of other factors. So this is just probably the most pointless fucking thing I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. There is no way this storyline is working or if they're even bringing it... Well, they're not really bringing it to an end. The match was so standard, so, you know, cookie cutter. They just, you know, put a couple of those classic special guest referee elements in there. You know, with, the, um, with McMahon trying to screw him out of the title and all that. You know, fucking pushing referees down and shit like that. Same same type of storylines. And they also missed out on a great fucking spot. So they had Scott Armstrong come in, try to screw Roman Reigns out of the title when McMahon was knocked out of the ring. And what the fuck did they do? So, like, Sheamus was, like, picking him up, having Scott Armstrong hold him. Now, I could have sworn with wrestling psychology that Sheamus was going to miss and he was going to fucking hit Scott Armstrong with the bro kick. And they missed a great opportunity here to have like a classic spot, but they didn't they didn't do it. Instead it was kind of like Roman Reigns just pushes him out of the way. Like, okay. It would have been better for Reigns if they made him look more resourceful by putting the referee in front of him. You know, that would kind of show that maybe he had a little bit of personality in the ring, but I don't know whose decision that was. Or that's kind of what Reigns was supposed to do and he just didn't do it. But it kind of looked like he was supposed to. Don't know if that was a botch or not. Probably not. But, you know, it, it, it kind of gave the impression that it was one. Uh, anyway, lame. Lame, 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 lame. As I want to say a thousand fucking times, you cannot take the success of another wrestler and just manufacture it. It's like taking the Stone Cold storyline and 
like fucking processing it through a fucking computer. It feels manufactured. It feels artificial, synthetic. It doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel real. And thus, it sucks heavy cream cock. Heavy motherfucking cream cock, motherfuckers. Sucks. Garbage. Fucking processed artificial garbage. You know, it sounds like I'm talking about food, but I'm not. I'm talking about a fucking wrestler and a storyline. Anyway, at the end, Vince McMahon announces that Roman Reigns is going to defend the world title in the Royal Rumble. And this was probably the highlight of the show for me. It was, because this is actually really fucking good. They haven't had a fucking world title Royal Rumble since 1992. Since 1992. And, I, and I've actually looked on the internet. A lot of people don't even remember it. So this is perfect for them. It doesn't, you know, they're not ripping anything off. And this is actually the first time uh, that the title is actually being defended. It's being defended in the Rumble. Uh, I, um, so I don't know how Michael Cole phased it, phrased it. You know, he said like this hasn't happened in years. Well, this is the first time that it's being defended, uh, but this is going to be the second time that it's going to be on the line in the Royal Rumble. So, fucking craziness in the parking lot. It's like a fucking demolition derby. You know, uh, I'm going to be like ending this video and there's going to be like a 10 car pile up behind me. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, pretty excited about that. Excited to see the Royal Rumble, to see it. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a new champion might be Cena and should be better than Roman Reigns uh, but pretty sure they're going with Triple H, Roman Reigns at the fu at fucking Wrestlemania so it looks like we're not going to get Cena and Roman Reigns after all and Raw went off the air uh, last week um, you know I, I forgot to mention that in my review last week with everybody nobody even mentioned it in my video either but um, actually, that didn't happen on the air where Cena and Roman Reigns looked like they were about to make out when they were face to face. That was actually off the air. But it still appeared like they were trying to do some build for uh, a future match. But looks like it's not going to be at Mania, motherfuckers. Um, you know, Cena will probably win it at the Royal Rumble. I don't know who the hell else they're going to give it to. But um, it looks like Reigns will not be keeping that title past the Rumble. Because it looks like Triple H is going to screw him out of the title. Um, you know, it's a little bit predictable. But it is kind of exciting that the Royal Rumble is going to be for the world title. That definitely makes the match seem a lot more appealing than if it was just going to be Cena winning the Rumble and going on to Mania the face Reigns. Which would be fucking boring as shit. At least with Triple H and Roman Reigns, you know, it's an interesting Mania match. It's not really the most ideal fucking match, uh, you know, because it does involve Reigns. And I'm sorry, guys, but it's not like I'm just finding excuses to pick on Roman Reigns. He really does fucking suck. And it is pretty prevalent now. Any excuses you're making for Reigns at this point is just fucking retarded. Because it's quite obvious that the guy can't get any traction. You know, they're, it's also how they're booking him, too. Maybe if they booked him a bit differently, I'd find him more appealing. It's kind of hard to say. You know, may, maybe it's not just the guy himself, but, you know, once again, maybe because the guy has to read off his script. But I could kind of just tell if a guy's looking to break out, you know, if it, I, I see something shining through. Don't really see anything shining through with Roman Reigns. He just doesn't look like that interesting of a guy. Uh, but I could be wrong, you know. Give him the benefit of the doubt, I suppose. But right now, as it stands, I'm critiquing the actual wrestling. He fucking sucks fucking cock. All right? Well, anyway, show wasn't that good. couple of little highlights. Pretty much Owens um, and Ambrose is the most interesting thing going on, and that's in the fucking mid-card. McMahon being there is just boring. And I also wanted to add this. You see McMahon is backstage with Sheamus and everything. Great opportunity here to have some classic McMahon moments and comedy, but nothing. He's just like, keep it clean, no low blows. I'm like, is this even McMahon? McMahon even seems bored cutting these promos. I'm like, fucking McMahon, where's the personality? 
Where's the classic McMahonisms? You know, as I said, McMahon was the whole show back in the day. He was mostly the whole fucking thing, pretty much. If it wasn't for McMahon, the Attitude Era and the whole WWF would have fucking collapsed upon, you know, in on upon itself. I mean, the thing is, it was like McMahon was a huge part of the show. Anyway, motherfuckers, um, oh, there you go.